Uh, hey everybody, this is Togi. I'm a junkie. I want to welcome you all back to my channel. Now, when we last left off, um, Allison had to pull over the car, and she was on the phone with Tina, which is actually my mum's name. And there was a cash-only offer, and I had to turn it down for the moment, because we're too busy trying to get to Eddie's, and we're going to find out what their argu what his argument with their mum was about. And I swear to God, if it's if it's Sean Prescott trying to pay, make a cash-only offer, then then there's going to be some shit to pay. I'll be like, no, be gone. I mean, the Prescotts are like are just real pieces of shit. Like, well, Nathan and his dad are, but I don't I don't know about the mother or the Valley's mother or sister. We don't really have much information about them. So, Tina. Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. So, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Hey, I didn't side over him, you over you with him this, in episode one. These people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I will. I'll do it. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Well, what's this? You're gonna sulk all day. Are you planning to sulk all day? I don't know. We'll find out. Jesus. I feel like we're eight again. Oh, they're thinking. Okay, I thought it was a memory showing up that was gonna happen. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave, speaking for the trees? I do. Is it really that hard to imagine? Oh, yeah? Who do you think's gonna come visit you out there, in the middle of nowhere? Well, I was hoping you would. It's a nice view, not gonna lie. I've always wanted to go somewhere where it snows. That's one of the things on, on my bucket list. Yeah. What's this? What are we remembering now? Now, you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. You were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. Are we heading back to the car now? Or? 
So I have to warn you. I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. You won't have a choice. We're not 10 years old anymore. He tries to protect me from everything. <laughs> Occupational hazard. He was always be so worried about how all right so he'd make speech here is kind of cutting off parties and invite everyone and they'd all have to show up because you were the chief's daughter bingo but then they didn't actually talk to me so i felt like a stranger in my own house i know the feeling hey look what i found Oh, hey, is that meant to be Ollie? Yeah. I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. What is it? I want to see. O T A. No, Tyler. All right. T's for Tyler. Ah, oh, boy. Glyph, correct the old graffiti on tree. Arbor glyph. Is that meant to be like tree bark? Is arbor or something? I don't know. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell There's Eddie. And Chenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Is that because I saw it? Is that because I had, um... Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make yeah. time if we... Yeah, yeah, that's the end of episode one, because I had Allison side with Tyler oh, rather than Eddie. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? Oh, oh boy. Fire that. drills. Everybody's favorite way to slack off. You can turn hey, that car around. is that your desk? Huh? I didn't think so. Move on. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? So I got a friend whose name's whose last name's Torres. James. Have you had Torres. a few more questions about her mother? Look, now's not the best time. Well. Maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? 
course, Miss Tori. Where were we? We get the truth ourselves. He's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room, behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. There was a fire drill notice on Vincenzi's desk. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby, now. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. Find a way upstairs. No access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. Said we're going to the lobby. You might want to go over and. Where'd you go, Allison? slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Not really. Not really? No. Right, let's go. scene that pile of paperwork what about it I could tip it over kind of messy but I mean <coughs> Sure. Jesus, Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. a feeling I had to go outside because that's what that's what they said the place was outside yeah I need to smoke you should think about quitting only gets harder the longer you do it yeah I know while you're at it get your sister to stop too <sighs> take a riot That door? No. Shit. Where are you? Right here. Open the door. Quick, get in. Oh god, what did I just do? You, you took control of your destiny. Own it. Alright, let's find these files. How old is Brown? Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the GCPD. If Eddie catches us in here, there's no turning back now. Oh 
Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Oh, finally. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why Donald Murr. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. What's that note say? He might work. U.S. Army, military, accountable for actions of team, assisted in training subordinates, equipment maintenance, sandwich artist at Metro Sandwiches from 1999 to 2000. Uh, okay then. You finding anything? No. Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? Whoa. Brown looked at our what? file this morning. Wait, what? What? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. So you can find the original archives. Transcripts of phone calls have been taken out, but you can find the di digitized calls through the appendix. Let me know if you need anything else. Wait, so was he listening in on their calls? Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's. Love you. Thursday night. Tom? He preferred staying neutral. No, you ca cannot say no to her roasted salmon. I didn't catch it myself, but it's this morning's catch. Looking forward to seeing you. Benny Biddy Bitchy. Implicit bias training. City Council event. Man who fits in this cereal this morning. Okay then. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan, perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? Any files? Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? Oh, collectible. Huh. Hey, you. What is that dragon? We are destined to burn. We emerge as stardust. What? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. Since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, he's called the cops on who he's in charge of the insurance. Alright. Ah, uh, no, it's an armory. Archives are... No, they're not downstairs, they're over here. Yep, here they are. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then, how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. I can stick 0146. This little tune. Dum da dee do. Seriously? Go on, try. Dum. Do. Duh. I don't think that's the right order. Alright, so. Dum. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Duty. The first two seem to be right. Alright, so. Dum. Da, the, do. Yes. Third time's the charm. Ah, uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. 
a room of scattered case files, and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? <laughs> what wink. If anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Can I look it up on the computer? No. female indicated as Mary Ann Ronan falling over deck into lake audio recorded tape halted I arrive at the sea brief by patrol officer Jay Chan of incident Brown witness Ronan and Ronan children of Mary Ann Ronan couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire stress and shock the children were taken under care of patrol officer Jay Chan Brown 2341, coroner investigator T. Dickens arrives at the scene, rolled prints of victim crime lab, Tech O. Tully, 5629 at scene, completed photographs of scene and recovered an unlicensed Rassler 3121 shotgun, bullets recovered from location barn, Brown. Well, so far I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. And the coroner took possession of body. Okay. Uh, Marianne Ronan threatened miners with a gun. Ronan fled from her. She pursued child to the docks. Ronan stabbed Marianne Ronan, who was still threatening the child before falling over into the water. Witnesses state they called 911 shortly after. Did not recover a pair of scissors claimed by by miners named redacted. Other references on the computer. All right, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. Okay. Two case files found. 24 hour homicide report. Is there anything else I can look up? Personal information and rap sheet. Why does it say two or four tags? References 05 R62 766. Well, let's say R62. That that one. Alright, it's this one. I have, I have her autopsy report. Okay. She. Yeah. What is it? She drowned. Stab wound was non fatal. What? 
that's awkward. Waterlogged lungs. Um, cause of death. Natural suicide, homicide, accident. Could not be determined. How did the injury occur? With scissors. Victim then fell over dock into freezing lake water. Was operation performed for any con condition stated above? Yes, no. 15 centimeter stab wound, non fatal. Heart, blood, thin blood. to check out here uh, is this something new no that's 20 that's uh Bingo. oh fax or street this is different storage number 0501 com ebr references 0501 com ebr Here we go. I think this is it. There. What the hell? Brown reported Marianne Child Services. What do you mean? What? Looking at a fax receipt with Brown's name on it. Sent to the Office of Child Services with the subject Ronan family. What? There yeah. has to be more to this. Just, just keep I called it. I called it. Didn't I say that I, I said I bet. He was going to have uh, Tyler and and I forget the other one's name because I'm such an idiot. He was going to have the two kids taken into child protective surgery and the mom was going to kill them both because she'd rather them die than live without them. services this is officer Eddie Brown hello officer Brown this is Simone Prue from the office of child services hello mrs. Prue I'm calling about the Ronan family uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case uh, I see is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area yeah uh, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family uh-huh K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCX. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Alright, Sam Kensky, Eddie Brown. Complaint. Okay, I need to check out 2014-201-496. That's it, because I can't see any numbers there. No, I couldn't see the remaining three numbers, so... Not helpful at all. Incident. References 2014 203 
the same one I looked at or was this a different one? Hmm. Nothing helpful. Uh, that was report. Alright. Uh, probably should be reading this. He, Tyler says it's not important, so... There was something about complaints, right? Look for that. Incident. Here. Alright. J. Greggs. 2005 2 10 195. Okay. I need to check out 2005 2 What the hell? Tessa accused her of child neglect. What? Entered Beanie Bitty Vici, owned by Thomas and Tessa Vici. Mrs. Vici said that she observed Ronan browse the arse for approximately 10 minutes while chatting distractedly with her. Miss, Mrs. Vici stated that she was behind the cash register and did not have a direct eye contact with Ronan at all times. Vici stated that after those 10 minutes, Ronan asked Vici if she had any. Organic mosquito incense in stock. Beachy informs. Ronan then left the home without purchasing anything. But approx five minutes, she walked back through the aisle where Ronan had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. Beachy said that she very recently resacked the shelves and no one else had been in the store. She had suspected Ronan of shoplifting before in the past. That. She also had reason to suspect Ronan to be guilty of child neglect. They don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. Vici believed it was possible some form of abuse may be occurring in their home. God damn it, Tessa. I need to get moving. Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it! H hey! <laughs> Get off me! Rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family. Huh. <laughs> you wanna talk about family, Eddie? Uh oh, it's a Services when you're having a hard time, huh? And then breaks the law to gloat that you're gonna lose your fucking kids. It's your fault she lost it, Eddie. You and Tessa and everyone else in this goddamn town. Okay. Let's talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. 
She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, um, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. So, she was struggling through the snowstorm of the century, and you reported her to social services? What a Jessica dick. You report a potential child neglect. As a sworn officer, I am required by federal law to report the allegation to OCS. This is stabbed her in the back. A snake pretending to care to be her friend just to stab her in the back when she was down? Tessa helped out your family for years. I'm convinced her concern was real. Of course you would. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. Lies! He still lied. He's a liar. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults, and that was Shit. your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. That's bullshit. What? That's bullshit! You didn't forget to water your goddamn plants. He lied. You know what? Never mind. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but... You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. You're not her father. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. No, no, it's not that easy. I reject. I reject you. Be gone. I'm sorry, Eddie. It's not that easy. You're right about one thing, though. It's time we move on. See you around. Chief. This guy. Son. What happened up there? Tell the story. Yeah. Yeah. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now.
Alright then, yep, yeah, we're gonna have to confront Tessa now. We'll discover intel about Marianne's past and her death. So, yep, so. Yep, we're gonna have to talk with Tessa now and discover the truth. Discover why the fuck she's been lying. Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. Alright, so I'm just gonna end the video here. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Tall Gamer Junkie, signing off.